So yes people, welcome back to another video here on the JNM Football Channel. So if there's one thing every single footballer and every football fan can agree on is that Messi is one of the greatest players to ever play football. But have you ever taken the time to actually ask yourself and think about what makes him so good? Because to be honest, I do that basically every single day. And after thinking about this one question, what makes Messi so good, I found five things that makes him so good and so dangerous on a football pitch. But if you want to learn about Messi and even try and take things from his game and put it into your own game, this video is for you. So before we get into it, my name is Josh and I'm half of JNM Football. Here at JNM Football, we help footballers unleash their potential whilst gaining access to opportunities all around the world. For more information on that, simply click the first link in the description below. But now back to the video. What makes Messi so good? So I've written down five different things and I've also found clips to support my opinions. Number one is even though he's small, he uses his body so well. Here you can see in this clip, there's not one time where Messi's body isn't between the defender and the ball. And no matter the size of the person, the player, if their body is between the opponent and the ball, the opponent cannot get the ball. All he can do is foul you. So regardless of how big you are, how short, how tall, whatever, if you use your body correctly and you know how to position your body, you're going to make it so hard for your opponents to be able to tackle you and stop you. Now this clip you can see is probably one of my favorite clips I actually found of Messi. He gets a long ball over his shoulder, which first thing first is extremely hard to control. But secondly, you can tell when he takes a touch, he his touch goes away from the defender. So not only can the defender not even get near Messi, the ball is on the other side of Messi's body. So here you have a defender, then you have Messi, then you have the ball. So for the defender to be able to get the ball, touch the ball or tackle him, he has to get through or around Messi's body first, which makes it even harder for the defender. So yes, this is an amazing touch which takes the ball away from a defender which gives, which gives him the time and the space to be able to, to shoot and score, but also makes the defender's job so much harder. Just in this one clip, you can learn and see how important having a good first touch is and knowing in which direction you should take your touch. And then finally, the last clip for this one is Messi goes past one, two, three players and his body is always between the ball and the defender. And if you do this successfully, the defender can only foul you, nothing else. Now, number two is this might sound a bit silly. However, Messi is so good because he does the basics well. Yes, he does them so well that it's pretty much perfect. But almost everything he builds his game on and everything he does well is purely the basics of football. However, he does the basics better than anyone else we've probably ever seen and will ever see. Now, for this one, I'm not going to show you any clips or examples because it would be an endless amount of clips and examples of him doing the right thing making the right decisions doing the basic things because he does them all the time every single time he gets on the ball yes we all see it as something amazing and magical but if you really take it apart and analyze it he's only doing the basics however he's doing them perfectly that's the difference between a good player and a player like Messi he does the basics so well and so consistently now, number three, which is a massive part of Messi's game, is his vision. He sees things on a football pitch that no other footballers can even dream of seeing. His awareness, his vision is something we've never seen before. Here on this clip, if you pause it, he's got one, two, three, four players who he can pass the ball to. And 99% of footballers would rather pass it to this player or the player out on the wing however Messi somehow sees in the corner of his eye the run from his teammate which he then plays a perfect weighted reverse pass into his teammate for him to I think he scores for him to for him to score 99% of footballers who have ever played football would not even see that pass let alone try and play it yet Messi is able to see it play it but also play it with perfect weight for his teammate to be able to take a good touch and score this is one thing that makes Messi's game so much better than anyone else and this is why Messi is the best playmaker we've ever seen he sees passes that no one else sees now I've got quite a few clips for this example but here in this example he controls the ball on the edge of the box and he actually has his back to goal now most 
footballers will just pass the ball out to the wing, keep the ball, keep the ball moving and try and move the opponents. However, Messi is somehow aware and notices his teammate making a run into the box. So he's able to turn his body almost 90 degrees and play this little lob chip pass over, over two defenders. But it's not only that, it's the way that he plays it so perfectly and the pass and the pace on the pass is so perfect that his teammate is actually able to get off a one touch finish. So again, not only is he able to notice different things or things that normal footballers don't notice or see, he's also able to play the pass perfectly, which then develops into something dangerous like attack or in most cases his teammates scoring a goal. Now here I've got two free more examples of his amazing vision which I'll show you guys now. Number four is how he remains so calm in high pressure moments. It's very rare that you'll see Messi when he gets a chance at goal that he'll just smash it. Almost every single time Messi has a shot on goal, he places it into the corners. Never ever does he just smash it and wish for it to go in. He always places it. Here he picks up the ball in the box. He's got one, two, three, four, five defenders around him. He doesn't panic. He remains calm. He looks up, picks his path into the goal and just plays a simple finish not at one minute was he thinking of just smashing the ball at the goal and then what will happen what will happen he always had it in his mind that he's going to use the defenders as a guide to curve around into the bottom corner and this is also another thing that he does really well is that he uses the defenders who are trying to block as guides to curl the ball around into the corners again here against mexico on the edge of the box, he's under pressure. It's like two, three defenders on him, but not at one minute does he think, oh, I have to smash this. I have to, I have to get this away really quickly. He takes a good touch, he's calm, and he places it into the corner. And then finally, this is the last example of this one. Again, he has a defender. He picks up the ball on the edge of the box. He has a defender on his back and in front of him. Again, he doesn't panic. He remains calm. He knows what he has to do because he's done it so many times before. He takes on the defender, he's direct, and then he places the ball into the corner. He just doesn't think about smashing it, giving it a go, and just see what happens. He's always 100% in control of every situation. And finally, number five is he just sticks to his game. He does what he does best. He's not the fastest most athletic player we've ever seen however he's one of the smartest one of the technical players we've ever seen so he sticks to those things he does best he drops deep into midfield picks up the ball turns and drives at defenders he's rather skipping past defenders or he's playing killer passes now these things are his bread and butter these are what he bases his game on this is what he's best at and this is what he's doing most of the time here he's picked up the ball he's deep in midfield and his first thought is to how can he be dangerous how can he make something for his team how can he create an attack for his team so he takes on players and waits for that perfect pass he's aware of where his teammates are where the spaces are as we've mentioned before his awareness is unreal so he has all the skills and the ability to do this all game to take on players to be direct and to take risks as an attacking player, as a winger, as a playmaker, you have to be willing to take risks. Yes, you're going to lose the ball sometimes. Yes, you're going to get tackled. Not all of your passes are going to work. However, this is part of your game. You have the license to take risks because these risks are what make things happen for your team. So if you're an attacker, never be afraid to lose a one-on-one -on -one or to get tackled because you're simply not going to get past everyone all of the time however if you get past that person one time and you create a chance you score a goal you get an assist everyone's going to be praising you here are just a few more examples of him being direct taking on players and most of the players know he's going to cut in on his left yet they still can't stop him because he does it that well he's worked on it that much he's done so many reps that it's normal for him it's natural for him and he doesn't even have to think about what he's doing he's just letting his instincts take over and when a player lets his instincts take over, this is when he's the most dangerous. Now, these were just five things that I noticed and I really enjoy about Messi's game. And these are things that I believe make Messi the player he is today and has been for the last 10, 15 years. If I did miss any key parts of his game, feel free to drop a comment below. And if you have any other players 
we should analyze or speak about just like i did today with messi again drop a comment below i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please can you smash a like button if you'd be interested in seeing our future videos i recommend you hit that subscribe button which again we would really appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace